Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to give a special shout out to Internet Hellscape for the Sheer in their Mukbang Cringe Fest compilation. I want to say thank you so much because I've received a lot of new subscribers and support. Thank you. Dip into our sauce right here. Wow. Wow. Let's go in. Mm. <laughs> That's a little spicy. Wow. Mm. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be making Miriam's It's So Good Battered Chicken Wings. All right? So right here we have all our spice blend that she said. I split everything in half because I didn't need such a huge portion. So as you can see, the recipe asks for two tablespoons of paprika. I only use one tablespoon. Uh, five tablespoons of salt. I use two because I'm going to put a little twist to it. We're going to add a little bit of jerk flavor to it. So I have some of the ground jerk season right there. I use one tablespoon in place of that. In space of the half a teaspoon, half a tablespoon of the other salt. Um, I didn't have turmeric, so I use a little bit of curry powder, um, cornstarch, a little bit of sugar, black pepper, and of course we have our onion and garlic powder. Our fresh wings are right here. Let me show you how we wash them. As you can right. see, we have our fresh wings right there. We're gonna add some lemon juice, some vinegar, and we're gonna get our water in. We're, we're just gonna let it sit in the water for just a few minutes, maybe like two minutes. Make sure we get rid of that excess like yellow pieces that's on the wing. We wanna make sure that our wings are nice and clean. Once we've done that, so let it sit for about one to two minutes. And we're gonna drain this water up and we're gonna give it one more. So that you see now we wash our wings, we're gonna add all of our spice blend in a container right here. And we're just gonna get in there. Well, my hands are blocking all the spices, so let me use a spoon for that. So we're just gonna make sure we combine all our seasoning evenly. To be honest, the spice roast smells really good. Um, of course, you're gonna get a little sweetness and a little saltiness. All right, let me take a little taste. It's definitely not too salty. All right, so we go over to our wings. I'm gonna add mm, two tablespoons because I wanna make sure that flavor is packed in. And we're gonna get our hands in there and we're gonna make sure we rub this all in. After we do that, then of course we're gonna add our flour and our cool water. Um, a trick that my mom always teach me in Jamaica, because here in America, people are very skeptic about, you know, um, saying that they'll get salmonella from eating raw meat. Of course, we're not gonna eat raw meat. Um, a lot of you might think this is really gross, but my mom taught me this. She said, if you want to make sure that you add enough seasoning to your meat, after you rub it, you're going to taste the seasoning off your hand. Um, that's really delicious. Miriam, you did that. Um, I'm going to add just another half a tablespoon. So I have 14 pieces of the wings right here. I washed my hands so you can see the water on my hands because you can't taste it and then get back your hands in there. So that's done right there. And in just a few moments, I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes and then we're gonna add our batter to that. Wow, this is gonna be yeah, delicious. Let the wings sit for maybe about three minutes, not too long. And um, it's nicely seasoned. Um, so in the recipe, Maria made this twice. She made the honey one and then she made the regular ones. And in the first recipe, she did show you um, how to use the regular all-purpose flour along with the baking powder and baking soda. But I want to make it easy because the last men, um, recipe that she did, she used self-rising flour. So I got me some self-rising flour. In her recipe, she required that you use two cu uh, one cup of the self-rising flour. But I'm not making a lot, so I'm only going to use a half a cup. Um, as it relates to the batter now... Um, I feel like with the water, um, it said that you must use 
one and a quarter cup of water but um obviously i will use one and a quarter cup um i'll just eyeball it all right so we're gonna add a little bit of water we're gonna get in there um obviously you want it to be a little bit runny but not too runny um i'm gonna add some more water Starting to get a little tacky. Um, so you know it's coming together. I'm gonna add just a little bit more water. I think that should be enough water for this because you wanna make sure that it's nicely coated um, but not too runny because obviously you want the batter to stick to your chicken. All right, so I'm gonna let this sit for a few more minutes and then we're gonna fry them up. Wow, this is gonna be delicious. Oil is heated and uh, this is the new trend. Everybody said to test if your oil is heated you put this in there and if it start bubbling, then it's heated. So our oil is not fully heated yet. So we're gonna just give it a few more minutes and then we're gonna add in our- We're gonna be making something a little bit different. We're gonna make some jerk buffalo sauce, all right? So meanwhile, we have our oil heated for our wings. We're gonna add one, one cup of hot sauce. <laughs> I was a little bit frightened by that. Oh my goodness. A half a stick of butter. And then we're going to add, this is going to be nice and spicy. One tablespoon of our Walker's Hood um, jerk seasoning. And we're just going to mix this all together. Wow. I'm telling you, these wings are going to be so amazing. I just can't wait. Let me reduce the heat on the stove. Oh man, you see, I let the spoon fall in there. All right, we're gonna simmer it for a few minutes and we'll be right back when the we're sauce is We're gonna test our oil once again. All right, so we see the rigorous bubble. Oh my, I wish you were here to smell that sauce. So we're gonna add our wings now. We're gonna add them very distant from each other um, so that they don't stick together. Wow, I can smell the aromas in here. Let's get a close up on that. Look at that. The butter is nice and melted. The wet jerk is nice and combined in there and it's just simmering. I just taste a little bit of it and I'm telling you the flavor is amazing. So guys, stay tuned because these wings are gonna be oh so good. Guys, all the wings are added. Miriam said about eight minutes. So we're gonna set our timer to eight minutes and once it's done, we're gonna let you sit. Wow, those colors are coming on nice. Right, we're halfway in with our wings and I, I must say, these are developing such nice crust. Uh, the aromas are amazing. Um, it says eight to nine minutes. We're about five to six minutes in. And as you can see, I didn't use a deep pot like Miriam. I use a, a flat pan because I didn't want them to stick together. I want them to be separated so these wings are gonna be delicious and i just imagine if you taste this sauce look at that sauce oh my goodness this is gonna be amazing Five minutes in look at the cross on those wings and we're gonna be taking out our wings now wow guys i'm so ready to dig into these wings oh my just take a look at those wow Miriam, I must say you did that. You did that. Wow. Guys, I'm so excited to try these. Wow. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, as you can see from the title, we made those battered wings from Miriam. It's so good. And then in this glass right here, <laughs> we have some jerk buffalo sauce. So first, we're going to give it a simple taste test of just the wings, okay? Just the wings. They're a little bit hot, so we're gonna go in. Wow. Mm. Mm. Guys, the perfect amount of saltiness. Look at the steam coming out of there. Wow. These are so hot. So hot. Mm. Wow. Um, the nine minutes is so perfect because as you see the chicken is nice and juicy still. Wow, I'm gonna have to stop 
and come back with me while at least cool down a little bit. <laughs> Guys, we're back, we're back, we're back. All right, so you would think that these wings wouldn't taste as delicious as they do because they didn't get any time to marinate. But I must tell you, these wings are so amazing. Let me turn this around. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna dip into our sauce right here. Wow. Wow. Let's go in. Mm. <laughs> That's a little spicy. Wow. Mm. Guys, just look at that. Wow. Mm. 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 That's how you eat a wing. Whoa, guys. Wow. Mm. Do you hear that crunch? Oh my goodness. Mm. 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 Look at the steam. Wow. Miriam, it's so good. Wow. Guys, this is my first recipe that I've tried for Miriam. And I'll definitely be trying more because this is amazing. Mm -hmm. And I say, when you try someone recipe, you can do it as is or you can put your own twist to it. I like to put my own twist. That little jerk sauce. And I'm telling you, these are amazing by themselves. You don't even need the sauce. Sauce is great, but you don't need it. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm just surprised of the flavor of these wings. Who? Mm. This is probably the longest eating segment you'll see on my channel. It's so good. Now this is how you eat a wing. Mm. Mm. When you hear Miriam say it's so good, she ain't lying. She ain't lying, okay? Let's get back in that sauce. Wow. Just wow. Guys, I did a decent amount of damage today on this wing. I want to say thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And let Miriam know that it's so good. Really is so good. Thank you, guys. You guys have a wonderful day. Love, peace.